Hi folks, Robin here. In today's film I'm going to be showing you the Pentland Way. So the walk begins in the small hamlet of Dunsire and it works its way up north to just outside Edinburgh at Swanston. Well, as you can see, it's a nice rolling countryside out here and the first few kilometres are on this uh, farm road. This will eventually peter out into a farm track and then we'll see what else it brings along the way. I'm with my friend Davey this weekend. So what we've done is we've got two cars. I met him in Swanston. We've came down to Dunsire in my car, started to walk. There's not much parking in Dunsire, so if you do the same, just watch where you park. If you don't have the luxury of two cars, you can also... Um... <laughs> this wee guy here, skinny little runt. If you didn't have the luxury of two cars, you can use the stagecoach bus service, it's the 101 and you would get the bus to Dolphinton and from there you've got a two three mile walk to Dunsire. Right, so there is some um, way marks and this is what they look like. Right, this is quite interesting. There's obviously been a lot of rain recently. Now, there's a wee signpost there. Hopefully there's a bridge around this corner. That is not pee, I promise you. That is out that little river we just crossed a moment ago. I think I'm slightly spoiled by the crisp clear highland water. That's going to test the filter out a mile and a half under the belt so far. Yeah. Cheers. Here goes. Hmm. Tastes like beer. Cloves are going to be honking. <laughs> Can't be the smell of a bonfire though. <laughs> Alrighty, we just reached this little pond and we're debating if we go to the right or to the left, and our map would suggest to the left. So that is the way we shall go. Yeah. Was here. Alright, mate. How you doing? Hi, right. pal. Hi, yeah. Stopping. <laughs> that there is Mendic Hill. Up to that tree line there, you've got a slip or not mount, and there's a reservoir just on the other side of that. Grab mountain equipment. There's Montaigne. <laughs> oh, sorry, I help kit. All right, my moot. You all right? Hiya, pals. Is it guys? Is it guys? the boss, man? All right. It's steaming right in. <laughs> Calm down. It's all right. It's all right. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Alrighty, alrighty, calm down, calm down. Oh, I feel bad now, not going anything further. You following us? We're going to do the Petland Way. Come on in the Petland Way. Come on in. Come on. <laughs> right, there you go. See you later. Right, so the, the way it takes us through this uh, golf course 
and then we'll end up in West London we could probably buy some supplies if you wanted to grab a B&B or whatnot. or oh, find a nice pitch in the golf course only joking I never said that <laughs> right we just came to the junction here at the end of the golf course West London is down that way but the route takes us uphill this way you're not on this road for very long we want to turn to the right here towards Carlops So this here is the line water And we'll say we've got an uphill section coming up Now that would be a nice place to have a wee chalet Nice wee escape Alright folks, um, we've just reached the, the busy A702 Carl Ops is literally just down there It's decision time at 6 o'clock And we're not sure where we're going to pitch up yet We would be lying if we said we weren't tempted for going in for a pint But it kind of... It's the back of 6 and I ideally want to get pitched within the next hour or so Oh, fancy a pint mate? <laughs> <laughs> just one, one for the road Maybe even be open. Oh, it's open aren't they? Ah, it is open actually. Good effort, Chief. Would be rude not to. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. It's kind of long way. Mm. Oh, it's kind of mm. Seriously, when was the last time you used a phone box? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. For me, it was 2012, an inch in the damp. Actually, we're going to top up now, get some fresh water, because that doesn't look peaty. Nah, it's fresh as. Actually, might change it. Fresh as a freshy thing. That wasn't too bad. We break off here, get off this road. So you're looking out for the Nine Mile Burn sign there. Right, we're getting a little bit closer to Nine Mile Burn, and we're going to try and find some of the pitch around there. So I'll bring you back then Alright, oh, that's us pitched finally It's uh, literally 8 o'clock And I am starving So I'm going to get my tea on shortly The good guys at Y Food sent me some more of these though So I'm going to get some quick calories and protein in me just now because these are brilliant for that oh. Alright Davey, how's Hi. it going mate? Pretty knackered but... Alright, yeah, good, Aye. just hungry He's got the same mat as me, the ex-ped Hungry, hungry Yeah, me as well mate So, so what's the tent you've got? Top tent Stratus by a 2 yeah, right. I've just put a hole in Oh mate, you're kidding. How'd you manage that? Just yeah, tired? Just die. Uh, too much tension on the pole, eh? Yeah. Schoolboy error. We'll patch it up. Bit of a palace in there, eh? Aye. <coughs> Plenty of space. Plenty of vegetable space. Aye. Two doors as well. Yep. Not bad. Yep. Well, I was just nodding off there and uh, the wind and the rain's picked up. That wasn't forecast. Oh well, I'm going to try and get some sleep while I uh, see you in the morning. Good night. Oh, good morning, campers. Morning, campers. Morning, campers. It's uh, six o'clock, and after that wind and rain disappeared last night, I pretty much dozed off. It was a good sleep. It was wild at one point, though. And that wasn't in the forecast. Right. What I'll do is I'll open up the tent and show you outside. Morning, Capar. 
that's the stove on and for breakfast I've got my usual porridge in a bag and I've got a cold brew coffee from Y Food so that's 500 calories plus my porridge that'll keep me going this morning right other than two flat bits of grass I'll leave no trace as always and now we're going to go down to that gate and then back onto the route some of these styles are a bit slippy with the wet So this one here is where we're headed, that's West Kip, got Scald Law here. Alright folks, this is the top of Westkip Hill. You can probably tell I'm a little bit out of breath. Cracking little summit, this one. Right, we're now on the summit of Eastkip. Next up, Scald Law, highest in the Pentlands. So Scald Law is just up there, we're just going to stop for a quick breather and a bite to eat. Well that's just on the summit of Scald Law, the highest point in the Petland Hills. I had a really good wild camp here three days before lockdown literally just down there was a cracker seems like a long time ago now though so the next target is this one here and that is Carnefi Hill and after that is Turnhouse Hill Alright folks, this is Carnefi Hill. Cracking views. We just had a, a bite to eat and a, a bit of a breather at the call there. We're just going to head up Turnhouse Hill now. Right, so the route skirts past this little minor top here and it heads down towards Flotterston and then we sort of dog leg back on ourselves and we'll start heading up Castle Hill Law. I know there's something I like about this bit. I think it's the windswept trees. So we came all the way down here and this is where we'll dog leg and so we turn back and go this way. That was the first decent source of water we found pretty much since actually before setting up camp last night. So if you're doing this route, make sure you collect enough water around 9 mile burn. 
because you don't find much once you're on the, the ridge line there and I pretty much drank about a litre there so I definitely a small error there not taking enough water there's a wee boffy for you uh, the roof's starting to cave in now Right, so we're on the tarmac for less than a kilometre and there'll be a path veering off to our right just a little bit further up here That's our turn off here Fancy meeting you guys here! Well done! <laughs> here we go Right, so the hard work begins again. I tell you what, if the firing range is closed, watch out for the flags or the lights. But if you just head up there, there's a wee flat spot and you get a really nice view down over the reservoir. And it's absolutely one of the best views in the Petlands. So you'll see what I mean about the view. You can literally see our whole route this morning laid out in front of us all the way along. So this path it contours around Castle Law Hill and then we get around to the other side and it's our last objective of the day is to pull up to Allermuir Hill and then from there we drop down to Swanston Village. So that's Alan Muir Hill, right in front of us. It looks ages away, but thankfully it's only one and a half kilometers as the crow flies, of course. This is one of the more boggier sections I've encountered. It's 12 o'clock and we've been going since, what, just after seven? Half seven, aye. Aye, half seven, we set off this morning. Some cat food for dinner. But the last ascent of the day. Let's do this. I'll bring you back at the summit. Hey, pal. Right, so we're going down that away there. This path isn't always as wet as this. It's just been a, an awful lot of rainfall recently. This tree here, that's only came down in the last couple of years. This is a little quaint conservation village of Swanston. Lovely thatched roofs and all that. She advertising for low vein gas as well. That's us, we've done it. Cheers, Davy. Cheers, mate. That was great, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, fire them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>